The United States can be divided into seven major areas or regions. Each region has unique physical features. Each region also has its own climate, economy, the way people make, spend, and save money, and industry. Each has other characteristics that set it apart from the other regions, too. 1. Pacific Coastal Plains This region lies along the Pacific coastline from Alaska to Mexico. One physical feature of this region is that it has mountains bordering the ocean. There are more potentially active volcanoes in this region than in any other region in the lower 48. The two main mountain ranges are the Cascade Mountains in the north and the Sierra Nevada in the south. The western valleys have fertile and rich land. Many high quality fruits are grown there. Giant redwoods are an interesting feature in the Northern Californian mountains. The San Andreas Fault, another feature of this region, sometimes causes earthquakes. 2. Western Plateau East of the Pacific Coastal Plains and west of the Rocky Mountains lies the Western Plateau, or the Great Basin. This region stretches from Washington State to Mexico. The Western Plateau includes mountains, deserts, and the Grand Canyon. Many places in this region are very dry, so not many crops grow there. In the north, farms are able to produce good crops through irrigation. Other areas have forested mountains, fertile farmlands, and orchards. One famous part of this region is called the Colorado Plateau. Here you can see some of the world's most unusual and beautiful landforms. 3. Rocky Mountains The Rocky Mountain Range is the longest mountain range in North America. It begins in Canada and extends through central New Mexico. Many of the peaks are more than 12,000 feet high. Mount Albert in Colorado is the tallest peak in the range at 14,440 feet. Crossing the Rockies was a major problem for settlers moving west in the 1800s. An imaginary line called the Continental Divide passes through the Rockies. On the west side of the line, rivers and streams flow down toward the Pacific Ocean. On the east side of the line, rivers and streams flow down toward the Atlantic Ocean. The lower parts of the Rocky Mountains are covered with trees. However, in the upper parts of the Rockies, only plants like grasses, mosses, and lichens can grow. 4. Interior Plains The Interior Plains is the largest region in the United States, and it is located in the center of the country. The western part of this region has good grasslands for grazing cattle and rich soil for farming. Other parts of the region have oil and coal deposits. Today, the Mississippi River flows through the region, but it may surprise you to know that scientists think this area was once a large sea. 5. Atlantic Coastal Plains This region extends from New England along the Atlantic coastline and the Appalachian foothills down through Florida to the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf area has farms and grasslands. It also has large oil and natural gas deposits. The southern states also have good farmland. Farmers grow tobacco, peanuts, cotton, and many other products. 6. Appalachian Region This region begins in Maine and continues down into Alabama. Although the Appalachian Mountains are not as rugged as the Rockies, transportation through the Appalachians can still be difficult. Fortunately, large rivers cutting through the mountains have made some good places for people to build railroads and highways. Up in the mountains, minerals and coal are produced. In the valleys, farming is a major activity. Because forests cover these mountains, the lumber industry is a big part of the economy in this region. 7. Ozark Highlands The Ozark Highlands are not very high at all. In this area, including Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, is best described as a plateau. The land is not good for farming, but there are many forests filled with cedar, oak, hickory, and pine trees. Underground caverns are an interesting feature of this region. 
You will also find many man-made water reservoirs in this area.